people always say, no, I am not used to speaking to the microphone. It's not about what people think about you. When that happens, after that they become okay. Do you see, I just say whatever I please. It's not that you put more pressure upon yourself, it's just that uh, you went and made a fool of yourself in front of a group of people. So, you don't want to make a fool of yourself. True. How can you make a fool of yourself unless you want? <laughs> you can't make a fool of yourself, nor can you make a intelligent one out of yourself, isn't it? The way you are, it's okay you are. Now, in trying to be smarter than what you are, that's when you make a fool of yourself. You are generally not so hard upon yourself if there was no public watching you, isn't it? That's the whole thing. If there is nobody watching you and you make a fool of yourself, you are not hard on yourself, you are very pardoning, isn't it? Yes? Ten people were watching you and now the message of your stupidity is going to spread around the world, that's what is bothering you. <laughs> No, your very stupidity should bother you, not the publication of your stupidity. Your very stupidity should bother you, that's when you will turn spiritual. It's not about what people think about you. You are foolish with so many aspects of life, that itself bothers you, not because ten people are watching you. When that happens, you will naturally turn spiritual. Now you're only concerned about, in front of ten people it happened. I think it's good, a revelation is happening. Now, why are you doing public speaking? Why are you doing public speaking? You don't do any public speaking, you just speak. People always say, no, I am not used to speaking to the microphone. Tell them, don't speak into the microphone, you just speak. Microphone knows what to do. <laughs> Why should you speak into the microphone? You simply speak, microphone will do what it has to do, isn't it? And why are you doing public speaking? If there is public sitting here, naturally you will be, you know, there may be somebody who is going to pull you down out there. I was recently, about eight, ten days ago, I was with a group of people in New Delhi. This person now, he's little out of action but uh, He was at one time the Prime Minister's right-hand man and he was a minister and he was played many roles. He's gone around the world, spoken to any kind of and every kind of group in the world. We were just talking about something and uh, uh, he said, uh, even for… I know this much, he's been with some great leaders in the country like Indira Gandhi, he's been next to her, right through her power stage and uh, he said, the greatest leaders when they first stand in front of a cr crowd, there is a little bit of nervousness. After that they become okay. I said, uh, 
this nervousness is happening to you because you claim that they are a part of you, but it is not true. That's why it's happening to you. If you truly saw that this is all a part of you, you're just talking to yourself, where is nervousness? You can say anything you want. Do you see? I just say whatever I please. <laughs> so, you don't do any public speaking. If you truly hold everything as yourself, you simply express what is true with you and that's all. Why would you be a mess and then why do you have to beat yourself? Let them have the pleasure of beating you. <laughs> if you're talking senselessly, they will have the pleasure of beating you. Why should you do it? Their job it is. Leave other people's work to their hands. You don't try to do everything, isn't it? If you talk senselessly, they will throw stones at you. Let it happen that way. Don't throw stones at yourself, it's not necessary.